so we're over at my desktop now, <clears throat> and I have a uh, basically pretty fresh install of uh, 4.11, actually 4.113, and I'm going to use this as my uh, platform to demonstrate some of the features in the 4.x uh, platform. And I have basically created a simple site called test. Um, basically just this folder underneath the document library called test and we're going to take a look at some of these different um, content types and, and the channel streams you can publish them to um, look at some of the things in share that have changed and so forth so the first thing um, I want to show is the from the admin screen if I go over here uh, for workflow there's actually a, a um, First off, you can see in the admin console, there's quite a bit of new features here. There's a lot more robust admin console in 4.0 and 4.1 than there was in the 3.x platform. Um, and you can see from the workflow tab here that we've by default disabled the JBPM engine, um, so there's nothing running, and that the uh, activity engine is running. Um, there's currently two, basically two workflows running with eight definitions. And this is a nice sort of summary screen, but um, the workflow console for activity is much more robust than that. Um, so if you click this link, it basically will launch a window, and I've already got it running. So the activity workflow console uh, shows you all, all the workflows that are deployed in the environment. Um, and then from the resources, you can quickly see the XML definition uh, for this workflow or a rendition uh, graphical view of um, the workflow. And I'm not going to show the Eclipse environment today, but basically the workflow designer that integrates with Eclipse uh, uses these blocks um, to, uh, to set up workflows. And so you, you actually can build your workflow with these blocks. Um, it generates XML behind the scenes. Uh, you can set properties, and there's also script tasks and so forth. Some of these are pretty pretty simplistic. The, these are, this one's a little more complex, the parallel review. Um, so this is really nice. This is uh, a much nicer interface for viewing uh, kind of workflow. And you can see um, workflows in, that are in flight. There's two of them I have running right now. All the data for that workflow is in here. Um, so you can go through and see that. Um, so it's a pretty nice interface. Um, it's, a, it's a good new feature. And um, it makes sort of seeing managing what's going on in workflow a lot a lot easier. And again, in the for developers, um, it's nice that Activity has integration with uh, Spring because it allows for um, you know much more robust integration into any kind of Java classes you may have created. So jumping back here real quick, I'll show the uh, search manager. So now we have two possible search engines: the in, the internal Lucene. That we've, that's always been there, or now there's solar. Um, so the solar console, I mean, basically this in this instance, it's actually running uh, under the same Tomcat instance as the Alfresco, but it's, it is its own web application. Uh, Alfresco talks to it either on 8080 or 8443. Um, I think by default, basically, it's SSL over 8443. Um, it does show you its current state. Now, this is a pretty minimalist con um, demo environment, so there's not a lot of transactions. But there's nothing behind right now. If I add contact content, it will actually say indexing is in process, and eventually it'll catch up again. So the the concept is basically eventual consistency. Um, so from here, I also want to show a couple of additional features. Um, we have Google Docs integration and social channel publishing, um, and also Cloud Sync. Uh, so. Basically, there's by default there are no channels set up, but you can add channels as needed if you have corporate channels that you want to publish to. So I've set two of them up, and it's fairly straightforward to add a new one. Um, you can add Facebook, Flickr, LinkedIn, SlideShare, Twitter, and YouTube. So I've set up a YouTube account, and I've set up a Flickr account. And if we go to my Flickr page here, you can see we've got two dog pictures that don't exist in Alfresco at this point. I'm going to publish content to um, this photo stream and then in YouTube I have like a, a default video that was not brought in from Alfresco but uh, we'll publish one to YouTube 
So let's go back to Alfresco. And so you could do Facebook integration if you bring it up. Um, it basically has a, the Facebook integration. I don't want to. I don't want to publish to my Facebook stream, so I'm not going to set that up. Um, and then there's also uh, Cloud Sync, and Cloud Sync is dependent on on the license that you have. You don't see that option if your license does not have Cloud Sync enabled. Um, I can show a basic demonstration, um, but our cloud instance for Bluefish is actually not currently set up to receive um, content from my internal repo. So I can show the interface, but we won't be able to actually publish content for this demo. So let's jump back over to uh, the site. And if we go to document library, now one of the first features, so we have our test folder here. I'm just dropping content in here. And now one of the cool things we can do is um, drag and drop. So if I bring some content over, and I've just dragged it out of a Windows folder off screen, but you can see it, high, it highlights, and if I just let go of it, uh, it drops the file in place, which is really nice. Um, kind of speeds up adding content. So I've done a couple of things here. I have two uh, JPEG images. Um, I have a Word doc, 2003 Word doc, that I've actually put, published out to Google Docs for editing. And that is here. So you can see I've actually uh, published a working copy here uh, in Google Docs. And you can see the I published it from this folder and it creates underneath the My Drive um, basically the hierarchy that you have in your um, Alfresco environment. And so I can actually edit this document in um, Google Docs. So I can update some content. And then basically um, that will be saved and I uh, can edit all I want here. So it means that um, I don't have to have Microsoft Out, uh, Office apps on my desktop. I can upload things into uh, Google Docs and edit them there. So I'm going to come back here and I want to show if I go to the koala picture here, this is your usual sample pictures, um, you can see a couple of new options that you may not have seen before uh, in the 3.x environment. Uh, one is publish and one is sync to cloud. Now sync to cloud um, basically replicates out to the cloud instance of Alfresco and um, you can pick your, the folder you want to publish to and this is actually a cloud instance. Um, this bluefishgroup.com is our cloud instance but it's not enabled right now so I can't publish to it. But you can actually lock the on-premise copy you can publish a whole folder if you need to, and that will be synced out to your cloud site. You hit sync and it will actually go out uh, to the cloud site. Um, so the nice feature of that is you can choose what content you want to actually send out um, to, the, to the cloud. But let's publish this koala picture here, and I'm going to pick a channel, a Flickr channel, and I'm going to publish that. So it says it's queued for publishing, and down here you can see its history of publishing. Now I published it earlier before the demo started and unpublished it. Now I'm republishing it. And I'm going to go ahead and publish my penguins too. Oops. So when I go over to Flickr, my photo stream, I've got the two uh, dog pictures and I should now get the ones I just published from Alfresco. In theory, my uh, video here should be publishable too to YouTube. And notice how it, it only enables channels that, are, that can accept that type of content. Um, so this has been queued up. Now this is quite a bit larger, so it may take a while to get over to YouTube. But um, it only allows um, applicable content uh, to the right channel. Um, so if we go to YouTube, eventually, depending on how fast my connection is, I'm going to see uh, this uh, new video get uploaded to the YouTube channel. 
and it may take a little bit because it is quite a bit larger. It's a 25 megabyte file.